Hello everyone, Jeff here for Respawn Studios with some Dead Rising 3 tips to get a whole bunch of different achievements and PP trials. Now this is going to be in the Ingleton section, um, which is the top left district of the four um, areas of the city, Los Perdidos. And what we're going to do is first we're going to use a vehicle and go around the same uh, two block area. See I'm zooming out on the map to show you where it is. Um, I'm using the roller hog right now, but um, there are PP trials to use the roller hog to get, I think, a thousand kills and pretty much every kind of vehicle to get between 250 and a thousand kills. Now you see along the route right to the right there is there's a garage. There's also a steamroller next to a motorcycle in two different places, including the one where I was circling. Um, so I'm going to point those out to you. Um, so you will need a few things like already the blueprint for the roller hog which you should have <laughs> uh, pretty early on so you see right there there's a steamroller and a motorcycle or if you want to do this same method without the roller hog there's the garage you can make the turret rig which you make very early on in the story or you could just use a standard steamroller which is also really really good um, it lasts a long time but um, it is slow I'm also level 50, so I have indestructible vehicles, that's why it's not blowing up. <laughs> but the good thing on this route is there's so many zombies, and every time you go around the block, so there's the other combination, I accidentally ran into it and blew them up. Um, but the point of going around this block again and again, the zombies will respawn every single time. There will be these huge groups every time. Um, so whether you're going for a challenge, like the one right now, I spilled 10,000 gallons of zombie blood in uh, the remaining seven days before Christmas. Or if you're going for the achievements to kill 100, 1,000, 10,000, the 53, 597, or 72,000 zombies, and I think there's one for 100,004, um, that's a way to get them probably quicker than any other method that I've found thus far. And now I want to show you something else that will also help you with PP challenges, whether it's to use this weapon, whether it's to get fire kills, whether it's to get um, long multi kills, or whether you just want to really level up fast. <laughs> um, now this is a super combo, the fire reaper, but you could really do this with any weapon you prefer. To me, this is just the best overall weapon, but you could do the lightsaber, you could do just a katana, anything you want that you enjoy using. And again, this would be helped out if in your level up points you've upgraded your melee durability. Now, why do it here? I mean, you could really do it in any of the districts, but again, these groups of zombies are massive. <laughs> and there are a lot of them in this area, and it's right by a safe house. So I think it's a pretty good spot. And then you just start racking them up. And you see there where it tells you how many kills you have on the left middle of the screen. Um, y plus B comes up, which is a combo attack. And when you hit that, you know, I'm going to do it again soon. Hopefully. <laughs> um, it is a combo attack that gives you four times the PP, the prestige points right there, um, that you're normally getting. The other great thing, and how you level up incredibly fast doing this method, is as your kills go up, so does your multiplier. So I think I'm on like times three or four right now. So even though the standard kills are already up to 430, when I do the YB attack, I get like 1900, and that just keeps going up and up. Um, see there, it, the multiplier went up yet again. And I'm not going to, I could have this video going forever. I think I get up a couple times to 650 combos, but I just want to show you that this is a good place to just keep it going and going and going. So you see every kill is 540 prestige points. It's nuts. <laughs> That's another great thing about the Fire Reaper. It's a combo weapon, so you get a lot more um, prestige points than a standard kill. All right, so some things to help you. Um, obviously you'll be leveling up quite a lot if you're not already at 50. Even if you are at 50, you can keep going from 50 to, I guess, what would be 51. And you get more attribute points. You see, I have everything maxed. But to make this worthwhile for you, I definitely suggest upgrading melee and then upgrading mechanic. Melee obviously lets you have um, more durability for melee weapons and mechanic is the same thing with cars. 
Alright, hope that little guide helped. Thank you very much for watching, and I should be back with more videos soon.